In this video, we're going to talk about a clock widget for your home screen that you can make really big. Hi everyone, it's Carrie Morales, and today we're going to be talking about DigiClock, a clock widget for your home screen that you can enlarge a lot and it has so much customization and you can even launch some apps from it. Take a look at my home screen at this clock and you see how big that can get? I love that because it's so easy for me to see it. So let's jump right in and let me show you how to use this app. So first we're going to go to the Play Store and search for DigiClock and it's the first one that comes up. We'll install it and once it finishes installing, just hit open. And right here, you have a menu of all the options that you can customize. So the first one is the time settings. So here you have a preview on top of what your widget will look like. And you have a couple options, like if you want a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock, if you want to show the seconds, or if you want the hour to always have two digits, so that would put a zero if it's um, 2 p.m., it will put zero two. You can put an icon if you have an upcoming alarm. The minutes delineator lets you choose what symbol you want between the hour and the minutes. And you can also do the same thing with the seconds delineator if you have your seconds showing. And the last two options is if you see your internal phone clock and the digi clock not matching, you can use the time offset to make the two clocks match. Or you can also try to use the avoid delay time. If we go back, the next one is time, color, font, and shadow. And so here you can change the font, the color, the transparency, you can enable or disable the outlines, increase the width of the outline or the color, you can have a shadow, you can have the outline have a shadow, you can have a specific shadow color and how big that shadow is and you can even customize where that shadow is. The next option is AM PM settings. So here you can enable or disable the AM PM. You can also choose to customize it by choosing a specific color, transparency, or shadow, shadow color with an offset the shadow. If we go back, we have the date settings. If you enable the date, you can choose the format of the date or you can customize that format. You can choose where you want the date to be on the top or the bottom, and you can choose your location for the date. If we go back, you can go to the next option, which is date, color, font, and shadow. So here you can customize the font, color, transparency, and shadows of the date. So if we go back, the next option down is background settings and here you can enable or disable a background. You can use a custom image background or you can have a specific background color and change the opacity. And if we go back, the next one is scale and rotate. So here you can scale the widget and make it smaller if you want to or rotate it. You can resize the time and date or the AM and PM. And if we go back, the next option down is click action. This is my favorite one. It splits the widget into four quadrants. So the top left is one, the top right is two, the bottom left is three, and the bottom right is four. You can customize each of those sections to do something. For, for example, quadrant one, we tap on widget click action. We can do nothing, open widget configuration, so that just opens the app. We can open alarms, we can open a specific application, we can open an application launcher, so that would give you a list of all the apps you have, or you can go to the home screen. If you choose open application, it enables the next option down, which is open application. And here you can choose an application from your phone to launch when you tap on that section of the widget. 
And if we go back, the next option is help. If you have any problems, you can go to that section. The next option is more from this developer and it will just give you the other apps that this developer has made and DigiClock Widget Plus which gives you the option of spending $1.49 to go ad free if you want to and that's pretty much all the options. So let's go ahead and add the widget to our home screen. So usually you do this by tapping and holding on an empty area on your home screen and tapping widgets. And we're going to scroll down until we get to DigiClock. So for this video, I'm going to use the 3x2 and I'm going to tap and hold it and drag it where you want. And I'm going to release and I'm going to tap and hold it again. And when I do that, it puts the white dots around the widget for you to be able to adjust it. And so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, tap anywhere else on the screen and it's all set. And also, when I customize this widget, I put an app shortcut to the Bard app on Quadrant 1, which is the top left corner. So if I tap on the top left corner, it opens up Bard. And that's pretty much it. So try it out and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this app or if you have another app that you like to use for your clock. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how to live a more accessible life.